So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel Information and Educational Video. Here is the biggest news of this hour. That is the round six allotment of JOSA counselling has been done now, and this concludes the JOSA counselling 2022. That is, this was the last round, and now your hope will be on CSAB counselling. If you haven't got any type of seat, or if you are looking for more better seat, because you also know in CSAB counselling. A student can get good seat at very high rank also, and for that I will be guiding you once you register with my guidance. And there is a nominal charge for that. If you need, you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number. So the important discussion is that what type of a student will be eligible for CSAB counseling. So I would like to inform you all type of a student will be eligible for CSAB counseling because if you will be if you we are eligible for JOSA, the same eligibility criteria is there for CSAB. Until unless you got the rejection in document and you are not having the updated document now, you will not able to do because obviously your seat will be cancelled later. But in every other case, you will be eligible for CSAB counseling. Whether you have paid the fee now after getting the seat or not, whether you have got the seat or not, whether you have done JOSA counseling or not, in that case also you will be eligible for. CSAB counseling 2022. So now, although the student who have got the seat for the first time, you need to do two things only. That is the uh, document upload and the fee payment. That is seat acceptance fee. You don't need to submit any willing any willingness because your willingness will be automatically freeze. And although the student who have got the seat for the multiple time, then also you don't need to do anything because your uh, willingness option will be automatically turned to freeze option. So the so this was the important update. Now, one more important thing that is, you will able to withdraw your seat if you don't want to uh, take admission this year. You can withdraw. That. that will be done from 16 to 17. It is up to tomorrow. You can withdraw, and obviously, if you will not withdraw, and then also there will be a chance to get the refund. That is, if you will not pay EAF, uh, that is partial admission fee, then you will get the refund. And in that case, also you can participate in CSAB counseling. So this was the latest update regarding the JOSA counseling. Now I would like to uh, strictly provide the information regarding the IIT student. Those student who have got the IITs, as you also know, partial admission fee is applicable only for an IIT plus system. As per the information that that they have provided in the schedule, but I think you people have to pay the remaining amount. That is whatever is the first year fee after deducting the thirty two thousand. That is if you have paid thirty five thousand, otherwise twelve thousand because three thousand will be adjusted as. JOSA processing fee and, and remaining all fee will be adjusted with your first year academic fee. I think you have to pay that fee once you reach to the college and for and and when you need to go to the college, what are the document required? You just need to check the official website of your college because different college will be doing the same thing in different dates and same applies to NIT, Triple IIT, JFK college also. So now the important website for all of you is your official college website, whatever you got. So hope you get this information very useful for you. So please try to subscribe the channel so you will be getting all the updated and information at the right time in the same channel. Thanks. So now I would like to introduce the Philo app where you can get the solution of all your question, doubt, or you have problem with any type of concept related to J E or NEET or boards examination. Then you can get the solution 24 by 7 with these three easy steps. That is, first you have to download the Philo app in the Play Store, and then you have to do the sign up process using your mobile number. And after that, take the photo of your question and upload that in the app. And after that, within 60 second, you will be connected to the India's best educator. In question, me, you want to know that the bulb's power is how much? If the bulb is on, it is operating at 220 volts. Right? The battery's voltage is given at 220. So this is a simple relation. Now, if you have any doubt, tell us. So, without wasting your time, download the Philo app. Link is available in the description box. And use the code IEBT20 to get 20% off your first month. So, you have to do the sign-up process. 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 You